The Farah Palmer Cup, proudly brought to you by Mitre 10. The Farah Palmer Cup is back. With a new format and some famous faces amongst the teams, the top level of women's rugby in New Zealand will be on show for the next nine weeks. Defending champs Canterbury and runners-up Auckland will be the favourites to make it to the decider at the end of October, but with Blackfern's players available for the whole season, there sure is to be plenty of competition. We chat to the one and only Farah Palmer herself to get her insights on the new format and how the competition is set to heat up with the injection of some of the top athletes in women's rugby. The 2020 FPC Northpool will now kick off, with Wakato hosting Northland, who will be looking to stamp their mark on the competition. Auckland Storm travel south to Taranaki, while the Bay of Plenty Volcanics have a bye. The South Pool are set to kick off in week two. I'm here with former Black Ferns captain and who this whole competition is in honour of, Farah Palmer. Thank you so much for joining us and how exciting is it to finally get the competition underway? Well, I'm, I'm really excited. You know, I was touch and go for a while there when we kind of went up and down the levels. So I'm, I'm relieved and excited that it's actually going to kick off. Uh, so really looking forward to it. How exciting is it to have some of the Black Fern Seven Scales join the competition this year? Yeah, that is really exciting. I went to a club final here in the Manawatu and Sarah Hidani was playing and just having a players of that level and that calibre playing just brings more mana to the game and so it's wonderful to see them coming back and, and adjusting and adapting from playing sevens to playing fifteens. You know, Sarah Hidani, I think she fended off about 20 people in that game. So that it's great that they're bringing the fact that they are fully professional players and they approach the game in that manner and bringing that so that the rest of the provincial players can see, oh, that's the level you want us to get to. And they're, they're going to be playing alongside the Black Ferns 15s players. So I think that'll just provide some excitement. I understand Portia might be playing for Northland. And um, so that, that'll be cool. Talk us through this provincial pride that you get for playing for your province. I see that you played for three different <laughs> provinces and does your allegiance still lie down in the south with Otago? I think Otago will always have a, a, a place in my heart because that's where I really started playing rugby. But you know, even playing for Waikato, I learned so much when I went there off ex Blackfern, uh, Leonardine Simpson Brown and Vanessa Coots. So I got that opportunity and then finished my career in Manawatu uh, with the likes of seeing Silica Winiata and that coming through. So yeah. So I'm, I'm sitting on the fence. <laughs> As this competition continues to grow, how has it evolved since you were last involved? Uh, one of the things that I think really is wonderful to see, I went and saw the uh, Northland playing Hawke's Bay last year, and there's just so much more that is involved in, in women's rugby. Like I went into the changing rooms of Northland and they've got all the photos of the Northland women's rugby team right back to the early 1990s. So it's understanding that every one of these provinces has a history and a whakapapa and, and a pride that is following through and, and making the new players aware of that history is really, really wonderful. And JJ Stewart Trophy, which I think Canterbury are currently holding, you know, those all of those things, those taonga really do have a, a lot of value in, in the women's game. So we should embrace that. There is a lot of rich history amongst these provinces and I'm sure that this year they will get the chance to make some of their own. Thank you so much Farah for taking the time to talk to us. Let's get the ball rolling straight into round one as Wakato take on Northland. The Farah Palmer season kicks off with Wakato hosting Northland Cody. You can expect to see a much improved performance from the Wakato side this season. Only managing the one win in 2019, this year brings a brand new coaching staff, several Blackburn stars and a healthy mix of rookies. The Wakata will look to be a strong outfit. Born into the competition last year, the Northland newcomers grabbed the ball by the horns and made a statement, taking off the championship semi-finals and claiming third place. This season, Experience has returned home and added Blackfern Seven Stars Tyler Nathan Wong and Portia Woodman, who loom as key players to the mix. 
They'll be looking to take it one step further this year and after two weeks' delay, both teams will be ready to fire out the blocks and start their FPC season off the right way in the mighty Wakato. With mana and provincial pride, it is Northland who get the chance to kick off round one of the FPC. Wakato with a 22 metre line out sees hooker Grace Hopapa Barrett with a strong ball carry. An offside penalty against Northland allowed captain Chelsea Alley to get her side onto the board. Fullback Renee Holmes sends a kick downtown where Northland were able to capitalise off an early tackle. With a quick tap, they then surge towards the Wakata wall of defence, creating phases and building towards the line. With captain Takura Nata Ringamate securing her team the early points and a strong start to the first half. Just after half time, a strong scrum from Wakato saw them driving over Northland and gaining themselves a penalty with a perfect kicking distance for Ali. While Northern tried to string some phases together, Ashley Gabby Sutherland brought plenty of impact off the bench. And with a quick turnover for her side, which made it all too easy for centre Makaya Rikatikawana to cross over for Wakato's first try. Wakato get another chance to play to their strengths and a strong scrum paired with a number eight special saw Kennedy Simon chomp up the metres. Finding Chelsea Alley running a beautiful inside line to finish it off. Wakato secure their first win of the season, wrapping it up 18-5 over the Northland Cody. Uh, yeah, massive. Obviously our season's been pushed back um, a few weeks, so um, girls have been training for a while now and yeah, just to get on the field for a proper competition game was yeah, unreal. Um, as you can see, our scoreboard will happen in the last five minutes. They came through, so yeah, last thing the whole 80 will be um, our goal next, next week. And the county's Monaco Heat also helped open the Farah Palmer Cup as they face North Harbour at Navigation Home Stadium. The Heat are the heavy favourites entering the North Pool. Having finished fourth in the Premiership last season and with the addition of World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year, Ruby Tui, they pose a serious threat and will have their eyes on this year's podium finish. North Harbour ranked fifth place in the Championship last year and will be looking to improve. The Hibiscus side doesn't carry as much player experience compared to other teams in the competition, but with a wealth of juniors to represent and showcase the game, North Harbour will go out with nothing to lose. Tuvik gets us underway. What a bit of a bobble there. And it's a great start for Kunti's Monaco. Sit. Steady, steady. Holding that nicely at the back, and away they go for the first opportunity to attack. To eat. Nice pop pass. Dangerous tackle. By the looks, the advantage being played. Marino Tohinu wanting to get this ball out wide. I thought that ball sits up, juggling around a little bit. They're going to come back. So he ended up with that ball, so she picked herself up and just got on with it, did Ruby. But that did look like quite a nasty weave tumble she took. You knew that one. You heard it in the background. Yes, Hazel Tubak, and it's an early advantage to the home side. 
solid off the back. Tearinger. Marina Tohino saw the little gap. Pops that ball up. Pufana there. Tearinger again. Tiharano's been busy early doors. Use, use. Blind side. Plenty of options away open, but then pick and go. Shea Adams. That's a great surge. Pick and go again. Stay there. So that's good goal line defence by Harbour. Short, short. Ball out wide. Here's the opportunity. And Hufana gifts a first try. With a short set. Here they come again. Once again, the target is Tanea Fletcher. Quickly down and away it comes. Waldron. To get this ball out wide, Robinson. Good strong carry. Tarana. Away to Waldron once again. Wants to go out wide. Here's Molly Tangaloa. Tackled by Tui. Over that ball is Candice Monaco, but they'll come back because it was all under advantage. No, High tackle by 12. Seatbelt tackle. Over. And there it is. Harbour on the board. Steady. Steady. He's a good scrum, though, from the heat, and they'll hold this in the back at the feet of Arono Tiaringa. Advantage not so straight. And here's that chance to strike now, and it's going to be a nice little play between that experience combination. Hazel Tubik with the try. Tubik goes in and plays halfback. Birch to carry. At the 22 metre mark, you can see. Tubik again wide. Thompson out, scooting through. Flesher with the try. Wako Hika Flesher, her first try of the Farah Palmer Cup season. Heat scrum. Sit! Steady, steady. It is an opportunity to go for a run. Skips out of one and into a gap. Teringa, looking at her support, she goes, I'm just going to keep going. Great tackle coming back. I think that might have been Kitty Opa. No, 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 no. Big no. numbers away. Ufana. Short ball's been knocked down. Knock on only. Tearinga again. Great step to a Fix the ball away. And it's a try to Molea. Oh. A bit closer in than those previous efforts from out wide. The far side. Nice conversion of a very nice try. And now a foot race. No one back there. Ruby Tui. On the toe. Oh, and it goes out. County's ball. Counties have turned this one over. Right here. So that's a good piece of defensive work by Ward doing. Leave it white. Needed to be done as well. Here they come again though, Tubik. Okay. Option out wide. Flesher. Nice and easy. Wakaheka's going to make it easier for the lady who just provided that try. Nano. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. The front, take that down. Rana Tearing has got that at the back. It seems inevitable. And that's the reason why. Rano Tearing. With the reward. See the frustrations again. She just drags that one across the front. Oh, it's been knocked. There's a fun up. She's away. She knows how to score him, and she keeps the strike rate going. Pick and go. There's a good surge. Matua. Still going. Tries to get the fin going. Super offload. Taken to the ground, Counties coming out of the blocks, really hot in the second half, wide, Lima, Lima short ball, lovely hands, hat-trick for Flesher. Beautiful hands right at the end there by Lisa Molia. Nice line, gee that's a good kick. Waldron. Right foot. Stop, stop, stop yourself. 
Straight down to Kitson with space and Ruby Tui. Why oh, they continue to swing again. There's Cheyenne Thompson, Tui wrapping around the fend. Got a finish, just drops the shoulder. Early Hutana. Tubik goes wide. Bufana. She sees space. Melly, beautiful feet. Back inside once again. It's a good looking combination in midfield. Bufana and Thompson. Tubik. Hirano on the carry it was. Tubik again inside ball. Kitson. Tries to bump off one. Still going, Emily Kitson. And over for her second try of the day. Seven. As County's Manukau hit the 60-61-3 they lead. Oh, Emily Kitson, she is deceptively strong. Nice conversion by Hazel Tubik. They've got to try and stem the tide, a player down. And easy as you like it. An overlap and Grace Nador gets the try. Steady here, steady here. Held at the back. Tiaringa. Great surge, ball in one hand. In and out. Setting up Ruby Tui. See ya, she gone. Try in the right hand corner, Ruby Tui. But again, a lovely read. Tubik likes that one. It's over. Ruby with her second try of the day. Change trying to come out to this right hand side and finds a bit of space. Ball bouncing up, and it sits up nicely for Tubik. Antonio with a nice fend. Here's Flesher. Shrugs off one, beats another. Four for the day for Wakahika. And she'll run that around to make it easier for a goal kicker as well. And they execute it well there. Vaka to Tubik. Wanting to get that ball around to Watane. She's got some space. So to Ruby Tui. Those long athletic strides. Shell Angelin. She gone again. And a hat trick for Ruby Tui. She likes that one. Comfortable victory for Cundies Manukau to begin their Farah Farmer Cup campaign. You know, considering the lack of lead up time for both of these sides, the skill level was still very good. And they've got plenty, both teams have plenty to work on coming up in the next few weeks. So you see Harbour. It'll be a, a tough one for them. Well, Ruby Tui, fantastic game and fantastic effort from yourself as well in playing 15s. How do you find the transition? Oh, mate, that was more exciting than letting fireworks off when it's not even Guy Fawkes, you know? <laughs> just, a, just a real buzz out there. Um, the FPC competition has grown a lot in the last 10 years, so, oh, mate, I'm on top of the world. That was awesome. All the best for your following competition. Appreciate it, Taylor. <laughs> Shop, county's up. <laughs> With the new revised competition format, the Auckland Storm will meet Taranaki for the first time in seven years. The Auckland Storm look more than ready to take on their 2020 season. With a mix of new talent and international class to make up their squad, including 14 debutants, they'll be led up front by eight Blackfern Auckland veterans. The Taranaki Fair will be looking to build on what was a tough 2019 season, as we know, a new year brings new opportunity. The FIO have since introduced a new coaching setup and the experience of Black Fern 7 star Gail Broughton. After a two week COVID delay on the competition kickoff, both teams are rearing and ready to go to showcase their pre season efforts and get stuck in. It's Auckland who gets the 2020 Farah Palmer Cup season underway. 
Some huge first up defence from the Auckland Storm, driving Katie Thompson back towards her own goal line. The field with some good front football, making some good metres, getting well and truly over the advantage line. Auckland go in with another huge hit on Victoria McCullough. Less than a minute into the match and we've seen a contender for the hit of this season. Auckland have their first roll of the dice, using the hands and look to get it wide. Teresa Fitzpatrick cuts them right open and gives it a show and go and almost scores herself, but gives it to Crystal Torfa waiting on the sideline who scores a fantastic team try. Auckland go out the front of the line and look to get the Fords working. Good Fords defence from Taranaki. Auckland unable to get the mall moving, so a one-off runner has a go. The pick and go, and over the line for Eloise Blackwell. Patricia Meliepo adds the extras, sending it right down the middle. The Storm backline scream for it. Moana Cook fires it out and looks to use the hands and goes wide. And what a line from Teresa Fitzpatrick. She times her run perfectly and Sylvia Burnt just held it up. Hit the flat ball back to Fitzpatrick to finish it off. Auckland scrum looking powerful. They throw it wide with the advantage. Beautiful wrap around from the halfback and the centre. Quick hands out wide and try time. Another superb team effort. The blue and white will go left this time and Teresa Fitzpatrick, who has looked so dangerous all day, is going to score yet again. Looking good from the tee today. No troubles there. Two more to the total. Auckland finish off strongly here at TET Stadium. Five metres out. Liana Mikialetu off the first five and she secures it. Patricia Meliepo slots it between the posts to wrap up their match. The Auckland Storm take their first win of the season and want to certainly be proud of. 38-0 against the Taranaki field. I was uh, really happy with the girls' performance today. Um, like you said, obviously the, the score wasn't, uh, doesn't determine um, the amount of effort that we put in today, but yeah, super proud of the girls. Yeah, I think with the Storm, we have, uh, I think the strength is definitely in our finishers that come off the bench. So, you know, we just needed our starters to, to hold on to that performance and, and keep the pressure on. And when we rolled our finishers through, they finished the game off for us. Plenty of exciting action to kickstart the competition in week one, as the Northland Cody lost their first FPC game of 2020, going down 18-5 to Wakato in Hamilton. Counties Monaco sparked their opening campaign with a record-breaking 89-3 thumping over North Harbour in their opening game in Pukekohe. And we have some exciting matchups in week two as we see the South Pool enter the competition. North Harbour welcomed the Bay of Plenty to get round two started and all eyes will be on the reigning champs Canterbury as they get set for a physical match against Manawatu and Palmerston North. Otago take on Hawke's Bay down in Dunedin and plenty more action-packed matches across the country. That's all we have time for, but we will see you here next week for more action on the Farapama Cup Highlights Show.